Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 16th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather updates about earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun. And no major solar flares to talk about, still hanging out in the sea range. But some pretty complex sunspot regions along the equatorial plain right now, we're going to be noting. Look at the last 48 hours incoming, large plasma prominence there lifting. And then a big sunspot region on the right hand side turning in. A little earth to scale comparison. And then the last 48 hours outgoing. No major sun events, just some amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look at multi-spectrum, still keeping an eye on these sunspot regions, turning in for an Earth-facing event, and as well incoming, and the antipode to that. No major coronal holes to talk about. But plasma filaments still prevalent and hanging around the surface. Also here in the northeast region of our sun, a tall erecting solar tornado. As you can see, a plasma filament spinning around here and lifting from the surface of the sun. And as well, a couple other smaller tornadoes there in the distance affecting the heliosphere. Let's have a look at sunspot regions in action. As we still have seven sunspots. Noting out all of the big ones. Especially we were watching the, those regions yesterday. One of them formed very fast in a 24 hour period. And then the same thing happened in the southern hemisphere. Just in the past 24 hours, you can see them splitting apart there and as well incoming action. <clears throat> current space weather conditions are none. There are no current space weather conditions. Solar winds coming in at 305 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in a C range, coming down a little bit into a B range. Still only the last 48 hours close to an M-class solar flare. Solar proton flux is down. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated here, coming up recently from our most recent CME. And as well, having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, the two most recent CMEs taking off from our sun, one from the incoming and another one from facing. So set to give us a glancing blow here. 20th into the 21st of August the next three to four days. Having a look at Alaska 2, showing all of our sun's energy, and as well the most recent CMEs, continuing images from yesterday. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoy the information shared here with Daily Events Worldwide. Having a look at our magnetosphere pressure planes. Nothing much to report there. Having a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, as it started out with a pretty big one this morning. 6.5 earthquake Vanuatu. Solo Vanuatu at 192 kilometer depth. Pretty deep earthquake. As well a 5.2 Santa Cruz Islands around the same region. 5.4 earthquake there, Tonga, 16 kilometer depth. And as well, the deepest earthquake, 584 kilometer depth, 4.7 there, Fiji Islands, something brewing there. Eerily quiet through Indonesia and the Philippines, only reporting one 5.1 there in Japan. Seismicity shifting over into Kamchatka. I was noting this yesterday. A lot of SO2 coming out of this region. 5.3 there, followed by some pretty strong aftershocks. And as well, all along the Aleutian Islands. 4.6 there recently. 
and there was a large eruption today. I'm not sure exactly where. It could have been the Shishaldin volcano, but definitely a large SO2 plume coming out of Alaska, overlooking North American plate. Nothing major to report. Nothing over a 3.1 offshore line of Ferndale, California. Having a look at USGS over Hawaii, 211 earthquakes in the past 24 hours across the map, according to USGS. Wanted to give you an update on with the Hawaii situation, as we did have quite a swarm here yesterday, it has quieted down. It's sitting at about 32 earthquakes in and around the caldera of Kilauea. So seismicity seems to have seized a little bit. I'm sure Mount Etna eruption on the other side of the world is helping release and ease the pressure. Having a look here, nothing major to report across the Pacific Northwest or California. But minor activity here at Yellowstone, northwest and south of Yellowstone Lake. West Yellowstone, Montana, and as well the Hedgen Lake. Yellowstone. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. That's what this is all about. No fear here. Overlooking Puerto Rico, still not much activity there today. 4.9 earthquake there, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. 4.8 there in West Chile Rise. 5.2 earthquake here. Turkmenistan, 44 kilometer depth. And that's it for the past 24 hours around the world. Largest being the 6.5 Vanuatu. Deepest being 584 kilometer depth. Quick browse here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. And today we did see the largest earthquake of the week. 6.5 Vanuatu. Still way too quiet Central America and up into North American plate. And Alaska is a rocking right now. I'll show you exactly what I mean. I do believe we had an eruption somewhere along the Aleutian Islands or Alaska. But look at that large dark red SO2 plume coming off of the Aleutian Islands there forecast to sweep across the Canadian Rockies and as well the prairies mixed in with all of the wildfire smoke coming from Northwest Territories and as well BC as we've seen quite a few wildfire eruptions over the past 24 hours. Lots of SO2 coming off of the Guatemala volcanoes and Mexico. SO2 coming off of Mount Etna. And as well, noting there, Mariana's Trench. Some SO2 pluming out there. Now let's get to volcanoes here. Seven Kaya in Peru. Mayan in the Philippines. Sangay in Ecuador. And then look at all these landslide warnings and watches. Flood watches. Santa Maria in Guatemala. But the monsoon rains across Southeast Asia right now are causing havoc. Multiple, multiple landslide reports. I don't think I've ever seen so many landslide reports here. And a lot of them coming just in the past five, six hours across Southeast Asia and China. Volcanoes, Fuego in Guatemala, Ubinas in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador. Semeru in Indonesia. Dokono in Indonesia. Shishaldin in the United States. So that's Alaska, Aleutian Islands area. Karangatang, Indonesia. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. So that's about... 12 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting around the world. Having a look here, satellite imagery showing the most recent tropical storms. We have Tropical Storm Hillary, who is going to be heading up the coastline. Expected landfall in the 22nd. We've also got Tropical Storm Fernanda heading westward towards Hawaii. Tropical Storm Greg heading westward south of Hawaii. And as well, Tropical Depression Dora still spinning and heading northward into the North Pacific. About to be smashed apart by a high boundary line. 
and as well Tropical Storm Lan, who is still trekking across Japan right now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by natural disasters worldwide as we've got five tropical systems across the Pacific Ocean right now. Dora, Greg, Fernanda, Hillary, and Lan. Just wait until the Atlantic hurricane season starts to ramp up. Having a look at satellite imagery around the rest of the world. Big low pressure system over Russia right now. You can see that spinning there. And as well, daily evaporation rains across Africa. Lots of moisture flooding in from a low north of the United Kingdom. And as well, heading through the north central Atlantic. A little update here on the dust storm that's coming off of Africa. I did make a post about it a couple days ago, but this thing is still growing. And it's taken now five days to stretch its way across the mid-Atlantic. Look at that. Lots of dust and particulates coming from Africa, stretching across the Atlantic into the Gulf, mixing in with our atmosphere. And then we get to the Pacific Northwest and BC and look at all this wildfire smoke, multiple wildfires breaking out across Southern BC and as well, Oregon, Idaho and Montana. And as well through Spokane, Washington, around the area of Mount Baker. So heads up, air quality is going to be very bad across southern BC, Pacific Northwest, and the United States. Look at all these fires. Four or five breaking out along that boundary line, and then this boundary line, about six fires breaking out all around the same time. You saw it here, folks. This is around the Wenatchee Reserve, Washington, Spokane. Just a heads up, everybody. This is a pretty dangerous situation. We've had an astronomical and disastrous wildfire season across Canada. Let's hope that doesn't spread into the United States. And let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Low pressure system heading through northern Ontario and as well up the eastern seaboard by Sunday. It's going to be dry, though, throughout the week. High pressure ridge moves in until a low moves in Tuesday to Wednesday. And then some moisture moving in for southern states and southwest United States, thanks to Tropical Storm Hillary. And then overlooking Africa and Europe. Big low pressure system, North Atlantic. Strong winds expected here through, the, through Ireland and the United Kingdom over the next few days as that system stalls just north of you. Brings in waves of moisture and as well strong winds. Another big system coming in in the long range. Could see some pretty severe weather with that system. Overlooking the rest of the world, West Pacific, Southeast Asia, India, Australia. Monsoon rains to continue. Not much is going to change here for the next few weeks. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. As I mentioned earlier, multiple landslides being reported across the multiple countries through the area. Thailand, China, India, Myanmar, Bangladesh. Another tropical system there in the long range heading towards South, uh, North China Shore. And as well, another one developing here, East Pacific, raking up into the Gulf of California, long range forecast. Give you a quick look here at temperatures for the next little bit. This is a long range, expected 42 in parts of Arizona, 12 degrees, pretty warm up into the Northwest Territories. Still lots of warm air across the equator. It is summertime, so enjoy. 
some abnormally warm temperatures across the world. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due, and stay hydrated, safe, and healthy. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.